Hey, what's up to the tube? Um, sorry my channel's yet again has been somewhat of a ghost town. I've been uh, doing a few changes in my life and uh, just very busy with my various jobs and work. And I'm a chronic procrastinator, but I uh, thought I would hop on real quick today and make a video about a knife I bought about a year ago and have had a chance to use and refine a little bit. It's the Canteen Shop Woodcrafter, which I paid $180 for. It was made by Blind Horse Knives, which is now known as Battle Horse Knives, as I think the two owners had a difference and a separation, and now, again, known as Battle Horse Knives. The Canteen Shop sells these and sells out of them quite regularly. Um, they make a kind of cool one that's got a green spacer on it instead of the black spacer that this one has. Um, I'll start with the knife and I'll just be, you know, honest and explain my highs and lows with it. Um, when I first got it, I, you know, was happy as a kid at Christmas as soon as I saw a box at my front door. When I opened the box up and started inspecting the knife and checking it out, I was I was a little let down because it had a lot of tooling on the blade, um, a lot of perpendicular to the edge tooling marks, and it really wasn't all that sharp. I mean, I buy an $8 Mora and it's razor sharp, yet I buy a $180 knife and it's, it's sharp, but it's not that sharp. Um, I was able to use some stones that I have and some polishing agents and get the blade a lot more refined. I'm still learning how to sharpen from the belly to the tip, which is one of the tougher parts for me. Um, I do wish that the knife had a little bit more pronounced of a spear tip or tip to it, um, just for pulling splinters out in the woods or even gutting fish. I mean, this this works great. I've you know gutted fish and it doesn't take a lot to get into a fish anus with the, with the tip of a knife. Um, in addition, I added a patina to it with about three coats of mustard at varying times. So it's got a kind of galvanized effect now, but it's been through a ton of use and there's been no rust or anything. Even on the blade that's polished, I, I take care of it and, you know, clean it and polish it and use it and abuse it. Um, the, the handle and scales are awesome. The, the contours, the grip is great, it feels great in the hand, the weight is awesome, it's very well balanced. The uh, rivets to hold it together are, they're, they're very cool, they look good. It's got a nice uh, grommet at the rear. The spine is fairly thick, which I like, which, you know, for cooking and cutting onions and stuff isn't the most awesome, but for wood, the woodcrafting tasks, it is great. I took the time to uh, use some tools that I had to put a really nice sharp edge on the back spine which helps to uh, throw sparks with the fire steel that I added to the sheath. When I bought this I just bought the knife and sheath and did not go for the extra um, fire steel. I took this one off the bushcraft knife that I made in an earlier video. I'm filming this one handed with my iPod so I can't really show it too well. But I use elastic strapping, which I was able to tie a knot and kind of hide inside the block of wood that holds the fire steel. And what that allows is as the fire steel gets more worn out and thinner and thinner, instead of being able to slip out of the sheath, as you can see it's locked under there and it's elastic so it's very easy to... Uh, you know, it's kind of snap into place and it's not going anywhere. In addition to that, I added a small D-ring, which I just bought at a local hardware store. It's uh, about a four and a half inch to six inch piece of leather, depending how wide you want it for your belt. And what I did was I used some barge cement on the rear of this and some specialty screws that... Uh, as you screw the screw to the inside, it's got a low profile nut on the back. I cut that off with a pair of crosscut dykes and then filed it down so it's smooth so it's not going to abrade my belt or anything like that. 
but it gives it a nice pivot when I walk and when I sit down it's not really rigid or anything like that it, it gives the knife a, some good play so it's comfortable um, also just today since I was sitting watching some YouTube videos I added about 19 and a half, 19 feet to 19 and a half feet of paracord on here I started at the bottom through the grommet worked my way up as high as I felt like I wanted to go with it and then double wrapped it all the way back down and through the grommet on the reverse of the side I initially started with so that it's tied in place pretty well um, if anyone's gets this idea or kind of digs it and want to do it at home I ended up having to pull the threads out of the end of the paracord as I was starting to finish it melt it down into a little bit of a needle point in order to push it through such a small grommet hole but I left plenty of slack so as it sits right now it's all you know full paracord it's got the inside strands and all that um, what that paracord offers at 19 feet especially is I could hollow out the nylon outer and take all the strands out I could use the nylon outer for shelter and then all the inside strands I could use for snares and for fishing and for even you know flossing if you if you had to um, as far as the knife goes I would give it an 8 out of a 10 with the Ray Mears knife um, you know being a 10 it's kinda looks to me like the apex a few guys on YouTube Skogniv and a few other guys make a clone of the Ray Mears knife for a much more reasonable price but uh... All in all, I'm pretty happy with it. I'll be using it for years and years to come. And unlike a Gerber Bear Grylls knife, um, this is something that I feel if I did have kids or you know my brother or whoever, if I wanted to pass it down, it's a it's a quality piece of steel and a tool that will be. I mean, it's kind of timeless. It'll be you could pass it down. It's not like a lot of disposable junk we get these days. Um, I hope everybody who's watching my channel is doing good. You know, I hope you had a good summer and uh, it's kinda cool the small things you can do to a knife or to any tool to specialize it if you just use a little forethought and you know maybe someday it'll save your ass um, everybody take care and I'll you know throw up some other vids in the future I got a few ideas later